Welcome back to another episode of Physics. In this video, we're going to go over a navigation question. In our question, we have a boat whose speed in still water is 41 meters per second. It must aim upstream at an angle of 41 degrees with respect to the shore to travel directly across the stream. What is the speed of the current? First of all, it doesn't, the question does not specify any north, south, east, west direction. So I'm just going to draw my stream as such. I have a boat. This boat is going to go across the river. This boat, however, is going to aim at an angle of 41 degrees with respect to the shore. What that means is 41 degrees is from here to here to the shore. This boat is going to aim this way. That means this vector is the vector of the boat. This is the speed of the boat in still water. This is how fast the boat can go. So this velocity over here is 4.1 meters per second. In this question, it says it will go directly across the stream, meaning the resultant velocity is straight across the stream. And let's take a look at what's left over. If that's our resultant velocity and our boat going in this direction, the current must be pulling the boat backwards in order to get a resultant velocity that you see here in green. The current I will represent using purple. Okay, so that's this over here. This is the V of a stream. This is the one we don't know. A. What is the speed of the current? So we want Vs. To get Vs, there's a few ways. First of all, we probably want to label some ang angles. Okay, this one over here, this is the complementary angle, which is 49 degrees. So if I want to find Vs, I can use sine of 49. Sine of 49 gives me my Vs over my VB. I want the speed of the stream. So to get that one, I'm going to take VB times sine 49, which is 4.1 times sine 49. This one is going to give me 4.1 times sine of 49. This is 3.09 dot 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 meters per seconds. And since it mentions the speed of the current, it means you don't need to specify direction. I'm going to leave it this as 3.1 meters per seconds. So that was the speed of the current. B, if the stream is 42 meters wide, so this stream here is 42 meters wide, how long will it take the boat to cross the stream? Please be careful. If you are looking for the component of your boat moving across the stream, this one is not this vector over here, not your boat's speed, but this resultant speed over here. If you think about it, your boat's fighting your current, which means some of the horizontal components being wasted in fighting the current, which means this RT is going to be smaller than your speed of your boat. So that means we need to use this one. We need to use RT, the resultant vector, and to do